it on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Really? How did you... Ugh. Now I'm gonna get fleas. Are th what? Oh, uh... Yeah. Strange thing to collect. And I collect some pretty weird stuff. Oh, uh... <laughs> It's... it's not like that. I found him in the quarantine zone and I just... kept him. Why? <sighs> I don't know. As a reminder of who I used to be, how I got here, it's... it's stupid. Not... necessarily. You want to talk about it? If it's okay with you, I, uh, I just need some space. Yeah, sure. I'm here if you need me. Thanks. Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. What the f... That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. <sighs> and the bed smells. Great. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking? Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh... And then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. Seriously, Rocket. You don't feel weird coming back here after... Focus on what's happening now, Quill. What's done is done. 
Right now, ship needs fixing. Ain't the only thing that needs fixing. We'll cross that bridge when Groot makes it. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go! Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? They're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? 
He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I flarkin' told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy Cammy chewed a hole through the wall or not? No. But also maybe. If it means we get out of this. What are you doing? It's locked. I know. I, I was just checking. Well, go check the cockpit instead. Uh, so, guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am Groot. Bet your bark it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space right now. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, we're real grateful that you fixed the ship in time for Drax to hijack it. Can you unlock the doors in the cockpit? Uh, please tell me you know where the cockpit is. I know where the cockpit is. Yeah. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. 
It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. So, where are we anyways? Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah! This stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Ah! Wet fur is the worst! Rocket! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid! We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Panda. More religious nutjobs, great. They aren't nuts, they're pacifist exiles. Pacifists, from... that's even worse. You saw them on Nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh, Don't fall and you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Is there anything we need to know here, Gamora, about what we're getting into? Lamentus is a refuge. There are no weapons, no conflicts. The priests, they live in the now. Uh, oh, Drax. Where is she? Where is the Midrak? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No! She called me here! To mend for the lost! Rock in a little help here! Uh. Hi, guys! How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Mimi's fine. <clears throat> I'm fine here. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the- So, just to be clear, 
There's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kochati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <gasps> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just... <laughs> Double floor! <laughs> I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for tracks. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Okay. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold and wet. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate futures. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. I yeah! Giddy up! Crap! It was kinda close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. <laughs> you are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Oh, Gamora? I saw the cutest little doll when I was on Nowhere. You'd love it. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't I trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Yo, geniuses. This thing about me don't look too sturdy. Knock it loose and it Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, Think of all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He dragged a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. Nebula wasn't your fault, Gamora. You know that, right? What's she talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Probably some other timeline. Right? If you say so. Uh, it's a lot of trouble to go through for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknar. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face? Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? Stumpy? This Today 
Okay, I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. Negative. Water, fog, what the floor? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Deadliest woman in! I feel like a matador! Something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Ah, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. <laughs> what else did the Katati tell you about this place, man? We'll each need to face our fears. Some fear, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. You uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Greenmini's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. Ah! <sighs> 
Don't let your thoughts wander. It's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. I am Groot. Yes! Caring for Cammy. Wait, who's Cammy? It's a long story. Ooh, my favorite kind! Drax really did seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? Always wanting us to do right by her. Even when it was clearly a bad idea. Of course little Fuzzy cared. Under that angry exterior is a heart of gold. Wait, Peter. I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you. Even better. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. You know... It felt like Drax was really starting to give me a chance. If not begrudgingly. And with a lot of insults. Only because Quill kept giving him scud about it. Still, earning his trust, even a little, it means something to me. See? And you were worried about joining after, you know, the thing? See something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face. And more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. The crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course.
Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. Galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. Is gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face. Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Larkin, I'm going in. <gasps> You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, oh that's it! I'm going in! Oh, get it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill! said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, don't no, I'm done with all the riddles. Don't let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Rude, can you tell him to stop? Little Fuzzy's gonna move, we're probably gonna die. Rocket, go! Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. Okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Sir, I... Are you smart, Toy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? 
Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. With more of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these waters again! I hoped I never would! The space lizards better not be part of saving traps! Couldn't have warned us that Chitari were hiding out in this cave. We are always. Yeah. Oh, my mind, we just run into cute little eyeball guys. You know the ones I'm talking about, Starbucks? I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes. What I don't get is why they be here. Feel free to ask him. Man, what is this? Like the worst timeline? <laughs> Great. And as much as I don't want to admit it, Groot's got a point. The odds are totally against us here, Quill. I don't care about the odds. I laugh in the face of gods. We're here, and we're ready to fight. So let's get back out there and light up the night with those creeps. Who's with me? Oh, 
likely throw at us! I would rather not find out! For once, I agree with Rocket! I got all these toys, I'm just dying for you! Does anyone not hate us? I say let them! You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's... Something down here that's affecting my vision. I don't think it was ever that clear to begin with. Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! More than rock monsters. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Something personal, but you guys gotta die. I don't think matters are making much difference. Why does everything hate 
lead us! Well, that went... ...about as well as expected. I was sure! Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Um, guys... I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet, like medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team, we'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure!